thanks for the intro. Hi, guys. Welcome to the show. How are you? Hey, Jasmine. I'm good. How are you? I'm hey, Jasmine. Doing well. How's it going? All is good. I'm excited to talk with you today. So, LAU, Sarab, tell me about what it is that you're doing and what fun things we have today. Yes, sure, Jasmine. So, thank you very much. My name is Eliu Triana. I, I work on the NVIDIA Amazon team. And today, we are so excited to work with, with Saurav and the SageMaker team on bringing names, names, names to customers. So, we will discuss about names. We will discuss about the NVIDIA software offerings and how you can use it on SageMaker. All right, so Rob, your turn. We need to know what NIMS are. So Elias has already given us a little preview. What's going on? Yeah, uh, Sarab here. I'm product manager for SageMaker and Friends, and I drive partnership with Elias and team here. And excited to discuss furthermore about SageMaker integration with NIMS. Awesome. So, what is Nvidia and NIMS? And you know, talk about how we're on SageMaker. What sets it apart? Yep, absolutely, Jasmine. So NVIDIA names, uh, we have been working on optimizing inference. So that's all we do is, is making sure that not you, you can get the best performance, the best uh, latency, the best throughput, the best accuracy for your models running on AWS SageMaker on AWS GPU platforms. So the way we have been doing is making sure that, that the software plays an important part of the role. It's not just the GPU, it's how you combine the, re the right GPU with the right techniques and the right libraries and the right software. And that is exactly what NIMS come, come into play. Uh, but before that, I want to just uh, show the screen, if, if, if you may, because either way, uh, we will help, we will be helping any enterprise customer or any AI startup to make sure they can get optimized, they can get the best performance wherever they are in their AI journey. So if they are using uh, optimizing or inference or or Gen AI workloads, we will be helping across the entire journey from data acquisition, data curation, pre-training, model customization, information retrieval, inference, and guardrails. So wherever you are in the journey, there is a tool from NVIDIA that will be helping out of that performance. So for all of the steps, for all of these steps, there will be a piece of software including uh, Nemo and including NIMS that are the one that we are going to talk about today. So let's go about NIMS. NIMS is uh, a container that includes the state-of-the-art performance. So you bring your model, could be Llama or could be uh, NVIDIA Bio Nemo or could be any other model that you have available. So you bring this model and you wonder yourself uh, how you can run the best performance, the best inference for that model. So instead of going techniques by techniques or, or or doing like a pretty heavy job in terms of understanding what technique apply, if it's flat size or, or you know, sparsity or latency or accuracy, whatever technique you are, you are trying to achieve, you just bring the container with the state of the art, you deploy it and it's like at wrong time. So this is this is the start the state of the art for performance, and we are excited to bring it to uh, SageMaker. So I want to just let Saurav uh, talk about how, how we can do it on on SageMaker, why for SageMaker it's important to run names, and then we can proceed with the with the demo. Sounds good. Thanks, Elliot. And uh, yeah, so Jasmine, just for context, right? Like SageMaker is AWS's fully managed capability for customers to build, train, and deploy machine learning models. Uh, I specifically focus on inference, and with an inference, like we have a suite of options that we give our customers to run their models, ranging from real time real time inference, asynchronous inference, and serverless inference. Uh, so with NIMS uh, that Elliot just spoke about, what our customers would be able to do is like kind of pick one of the NIMS that's being offered from NVIDIA and deploy it on SageMaker in any of these options uh, to get the best price performance when 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 doing inference with 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 Gen AI. Nice. So it's kind of you just pick it up and run it in SageMaker. So we know that that saves time and it creates efficiency. But what strategies are used to monitor like performance and manage costs in there? Is that built in as well? Yeah. So with SageMaker Inference, we have something called as model monitoring, right? Like so for any model that's running on SageMaker Inference, like customers would be able to kind of set up model monitoring jobs, monitor the performance of those models and kind of retrain the models if needed, if they've kind of drifted and things like that, right? Like, so 
uh, with with NIMS, like uh, what what customers get is NVIDIA software for uh, deploying these models, and 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 with when they're running this on SageMaker inference, like we kind of optimize multiple layers of stack, right? Like we give a faster auto scaling, we give you price performance by running multiple models on the same endpoint. And then we have a broad suite of options uh, in terms of the number of instances that you can choose to deploy these models. Yeah, nice. Uh, I love hearing about all of the features that are happening here, as well as the optimizations that customers get to make. And they, they kind of have this, you know, at their fingertips, but I would love to see a demo. Yeah, let's have uh, Amon, who's going to drive the demo. And Elio, thanks for joining. And uh, uh, we can probably bring up Amon on stage. Thanks, Elio. Hey, sorry. Amon. Hey, Jasmine. Welcome to the stage. Thank you. Thank you. Excited to be here. Let me quickly introduce myself. So I'm Amon. Uh, I'm a specialist Gen AI essay on the machine learning training and framework, uh, machine learning framework training and inference team. Um, yeah, super. I've been playing around with names for a while. Uh, SageMaker and EKS. So super excited to show you all the demo. Let me quickly bring up my screen here. Awesome. So um, today I'm going to show you how to deploy a NVIDIA NIM for the 405B model, which is the, the biggest Llama model available right now. So it's a Llama 3.1. And um, essentially, um, I'm going to run you through a, a SageMaker notebook that, um, uh, and you can find this notebook on the awesome inference GitHub repository that we have, uh, and that we maintain actively. So your first step essentially is to, um, have an NGC CLI API key. And the way you do that, like Elliot mentioned, is you have an enterprise account on NGC hub and you create that NGC CLI API key and you pass it in to your notebook as an environment variable. Mm -hmm. And then once you do that you can um, set your IAM policies. So um, at the bare minimum, you need uh, all of the IAM policies that are listed here. All of these pertain to uh, pulling the relevant images from ECR, and I'll talk a little bit more about that in a second, and then building those images. Uh, when you do do something like this in production, please keep the uh, principle of least privilege in mind, uh, especially while defi defining new um, IAM policies and roles. Um, now, when it comes to setup, um, other than the roles, you'd need to install a few packages uh, to be able to use SageMaker appropriately. First, you install Boto3 and any other dependencies um, so that you can set up correctly. Now, um, at, in this notebook, we walk you through how to uh, set up both the Boto3 session and client for uh, so that you can make the relevant Python API calls. Uh, and then also your user and role configuration along with region and then your SageMaker session, obviously. And then um, lastly, for setup, we set these environment variables. Um, and so this includes your CLI API key, like I mentioned before, but it also includes the model name that you want to pull from the um, NGC hub, uh, and then also the SageMaker model name that you want to give. So at a very high level, um, you would use something called SageMaker endpoints to deploy your name onto your required hardware configuration. Now. In this example, we deploy the, like I said, we deploy the 405B NIM onto a single P5.48X large instance. Um, now remember SageMaker endpoints are fully managed. So the infrastructure side is fully taken care of as long as you specify it while configuring your deployment. Now, um, your first step is to pull the image from the ECR repo. Uh, as you can see on your screen right now, we have um, a, or we've defined a bash script that you can run uh, and all of this, this bash script, all it does is it takes care of the model pulling for you. And uh, once the model image is pulled, you would then need to push it onto your own private ECR repository so that it is referenceable from the, the rest of your notebook and from the rest of your code. Now, uh, one thing to note here is to make sure that your image is named correctly. You can check out uh, NVIDIA's name page to check out um, all of the supported names that, are, that NVIDIA has made available. And additionally, you can also check um, our ECR repository for the right nomenclature. And of course you can print the name image as well if you want to. And then the last step is to actually deploy your SageMaker endpoint. Now, in addition to um, the name definition itself, there's a couple of things that you need to change, uh, mainly because the 405B model is ginormous and it actually requires some additional memory and additional time to get loaded into memory. Um, so the first thing you change is the NEM timeout value. 
again, you don't need to change this for any of the other models, but since the 405B model takes some extra time to get loaded into memory, um, we can increase the um, timeout to 3600 seconds. And then you can also increase um, the max tokens, hmm. um, which is the number of uh, output tokens. Huh. And then, of course, you can use the uh, SageMaker to create model API call to um, actually create that model. And then once that um, model is created, you can then create your actual endpoint, or you can go on to actually um, configuring your endpoint. And this is where you actually specify your deployment parameters. So specifically, you define your uh, instance type, the number of instances that you want to deploy your model onto, um, and uh, of course, uh, any other parameters like the SageMaker timeout. So that you're not constrained by timeouts. Uh, we've, like I said, we've noticed that the last two steps together take around 40 minutes to run. Uh, again, this is probably because of the size of the model. But one more thing I'd like to talk about is how NIMS is actually configured to run on your specific hardware. So what happens behind the scenes is there's something called sweeps that that get run, and depending on your hardware, NIMS chooses which configuration to run. And configuration is just a, in my opinion, a very fancy term for um, flags that you pass into TensorRT LLM, uh, since TensorRT LLM is the backend that's running for NIMS. So NIMS automatically chooses the most um, efficient and the most optimized um, image to run in the backend for you. And then um, once complete, you can see uh, two things. First, you see that the SageMaker model is created. And second, you see the uh, SageMaker endpoint is created. Um, so I'd like to also chime in here uh, that once the endpoint is ready, right, like the infrastructure behind the endpoint is fully managed by SageMaker, and then the model itself, the model weights, as well as the model container is something that, that you get from NIMS already optimized by NVIDIA. So with this, like, to run the model, like, customers would get the kind of the best price performance on the infrastructure side coming from SageMaker and then an optimal uh, performance coming from, from NVIDIA. Uh, because these NIMs are already optimized for a given model. Yeah, and um, to that point, let me just quickly show you the model that's created, and also, uh, if, you, if you go to your SageMaker console, you can see the model, which, which I just showed, and you can also see the um, endpoint configuration that's created. Yeah, so that means that customers are getting to deploy these state-of-the-art LLMs in minutes and not just not days, right? It doesn't take days to get something spun up. Exactly. So like like I said, the 4 or 5V model takes around 40 minutes, and um, that includes choosing the best configuration for you as well. That's just for the, the infrastructure to get set up, right? Like, but Jasmine, customers do save time in terms of, yeah. uh, you know, trying to figure out things, trying to figure out where the model is, which is the best parameter, where, where like, setting up the infrastructure, right? Like, mm -hmm. like on in terms of how do you club together a bunch of EC2, create a service that's able to host a model, uh, so, so customers won't have to do that. It's just like a few, few steps that they need to follow and they'll get an inference endpoint to, to, to get running with it. Nice. And as we're moving through this demo here, what are the types of customers that are using this for? Like, what are they building? Yeah, so uh, like NIMS is kind of a broad suite of options in terms of the, uh, the models that they've curated, right? Uh, they have models from um, ranging from Llama to some of the biotech models to some of the drug discovery models. So yeah, I mean, we've seen like customer interest across like all the spectrum that, uh, that, uh, of, of NIMS that NVIDIA offers. And uh, as, as Aman is sharing, like we have uh, uh, an ECR repository where uh, NVIDIA is kind of putting the containers uh, for AWS customers to quickly use that ECR repository to deploy the models on SageMaker with, with keys from uh, NGC. Yeah, nice. So a variety of use cases are already supported and there's some documentation in there. If you need to get a project idea of, oh, can I do this? And someone might have already started on it. Yeah, so we have like a launch blog and uh, and, a, and a technical blog that we've kind of published about how this can work end to end for for customers who are already familiar with SageMaker or not familiar with SageMaker, as well as the same goes with NIMS. Uh, you can just follow along the blog step by step, and it also has the notebook that that Aman is mentioning here, and you can uh, you know kind of uh, pick any of the NIMS yeah. that's offered and and deployed on SageMaker. Okay. Awesome. Amon, anything to leave us with? We're going to come back and come to a close here. 
Yeah, and I, I just wanted to say the beauty of NIMS and by by extension this, these notebooks is that you all you need to do is essentially just change the uh, model name that you import or the image name that you pull and um, the infrastructure that you want to run on and you should be able to run all of these out of the box. Nice. I really like that. Being able to give customers something out of the box and say, hey, get going. Awesome. All yeah. right. Thanks, Amon. That was great. Sounds good. Thank Thanks. We'll have Ellie come back. Yeah, thank you, everyone. Uh, just a close call, call to action is uh, le let's make sure that you can use names on SageMaker that they can uh, get to NVIDIA.com and, and use it there or come to SageMaker and use names. Uh, we'll be happy to help. And we'll paste the, 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 the blogs and the documentation on this integration in the chat. Yeah, they'll be here in the chat. And then let us know if you have more questions for NVIDIA along the way. Um, Ellie, I heard that you're in the AWS marketplace for the NVIDIA AI enterprise. So that's one of my favorite places to send customers. So we'll have those links all up for you and where to go next to get started. So Rob, Aman, Ellie, thank you. This has been so fun. I learned a lot. Um, let's see how we're using NVIDIA NIMS on SageMaker. Sounds good. Thanks. Thanks, Jasmine. Thanks, right, for Thanks, guys. Yep.